The time has come for repentance. And the time has come for us to preach the gospel. Don't be asleep. Arise and awaken. Don't be lazy. Be full of life. Will you accept it? Or will you reject it? Or will you smile? Each problem that we have the solution is always get help in the wrong way. If you want to silence your enemies, give up and watch what the Lord is. Welcome back to Revelation Time. I just want to give God thanks and praise. You're listening to Romy Radio, Positively Popak. And you're listening globally on all our network. We thank the Lord for life, for strength. We thank the Lord for all our, you know, partners and our supporters throughout the year of 2022. And we thank God for his goodness. Now we continue um, to speak about the 2023 prophetic word to nations, and, uh, which is 5783. And, you know, it's critical, you know, for you to understand. And this um, prophetic word was given to Apostle Steve Liston, Pastor Michelle Liston, Bishop Doris Hutchinson, Prophetess Sophia de Muccio, Prophetess Nadra Brotherton, and Prophet Onesta Jolly. You know, times and seasons are critical, and uh, we'll speak on the global happening that will be taking place. And uh, so we said the year of Gimel, um, releasing of the Mimshak anointing, and for all of those that are, you know, listening, Christian, the Mimshop anointing is the anointing for expansion and expanding our borders. And God will be expanding the church borders this year. He will go before us as usual and he will fight our battle. This is the anointing to spread out. And it is the same anointing um, Lucifer utilized. But what Lucifer has done is to corrupt the Mimshak anointing. And when God anoint his people with the Mimshak anointing, we begin to experience expansion, great growth, and great manifestation of his power. So we're receiving um, the Mimshak anointing. Hallelujah. And we thank the Lord for it that he will be pour it out, pour it out on us, 5783, 2023 for multiply as the sons of the sea. And I declare it upon you, your ministry. I declare it upon your entire household that we will spread out as the children of Israel. Amen. Now, what God is saying globally is calling the Caribbean um, to pray as never before. You know, pray for... Um, 80, um, what God shows is that 80, many are dying and suffering in 80. And we must be compassionate, amen? Um, this will also affect other country in the region within the Caribbean island. So the Caribbean island need to pray and the entire globe, you know, pray for 80 and offer what assistance necessary. I believe one day 80 will rise and they're going to rise um, because of the fight that they are going through. Um, we must pray against the devastation that is headed toward Trinidad and Tobago also and Barbados. And um, 
the Lord have been speaking to us uh, for the past two years that the Caribbean island is in trouble based off of some of the covenant that they have made um, with the enemy. And what happened is that the enemy want to devastate the region, similar like how Haiti has been devastated, which we see Trinidad and Tobago and Tobago would go through a lot, Barbados and also Jamaica. So we have to pray as never before. The Spirit of the Lord said that this is the time, this is the season where you listen with your our ears naturally and spiritually. We have to listen very keenly this season, um, naturally and spiritually. And God promised um, to touch the ears of the faithful ones because you want to ensure that we hear every sound coming from heaven in this season. Um, now, when we listen, it will help us to discern right from wrong because he speaks to us while we are hearing what others say. For he is guiding us to the truth at all times. But there are some of us who have become uh, ignorant and because we have turned our ears aside from the truth and waste time listening to garbage that defile us. It is with our ear that we pray. Uh, when we pray, we listen. Expectation is that God is hearing our prayer. But for this to happen, we must live holy. Help us to be obedient to his voice when we live holy of God because we are heading now into the part of the rapture. Rapture can be any time, people. The trumpet... Is about to sound, says the Lord, and we will only hear it from our spiritual ears. With the use of the ear, the wise seek knowledge. The Lord is also dealing with redemption, re resurrection, divine completeness um, in the season. The Trinity, the Godhead, um, is manifesting as never before in 2023 and evaluating our fitness for battle. We have taken for granted as God people that the Lord awakes our ear to hear every morning what is expecting of us to do or to say. And this point, God, uh, point, at this point, God is expecting us to have our mind, heart, word, mouth, and ears be tuned with Him. We must also put our entire trust in Him that he will continue to preserve us, that we do not grieve him. Amen. So the Lord is dealing with the ears, is touching the ears, he's anointing the ears, and he wants us to listen as never before in this season because we will see a lot of stuff that will be happening globally. The Lord also said, watch the jihad and the martyrdom kingdom because the enemy has an agenda to use them in a massive way as never before. Pray for all Saudi airline, Saudi airline, and official, including the prince. Pray against attack and the breaking down of relationship between Saudi Arabia and the United States of America. The USA need to be on high alert against terrorism in 2023. So again, we pray the Lord said the USA need to be on high alert, Homeland Security, high alert. Um, in this season, take nothing for granted. Leopard never change their spot. The Lord done nothing without revealing it to his servant, his prophet, his true servant. There will be assassination attempt and prime ministers, presidents, and royal worldwide in 2023 so we have to pray a lot of um, assassination attempt will be happening in 2023 the lord said that he is plundering the enemies of the children who have kidnapped rape murder and deceive with the lgbtq agenda so we need to pray people a lot of people have been deceived and uh, death, murder has been coming upon them because of deception. The British monarchy and Swedish um, 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 are in serious trouble. 
the British monarchy and also the Swedish monarchy are in serious trouble. They are secret that are about to reveal. So we need to pray, people. We need to pray. Pray against the spirit of Jezebel and Ahab has taken over um, most royal throne. Ahab need to see Jezebel for what she is, is. The spirit of Jezebel has been taken over a lot of throne and has behind a lot of throne for evil um, to take place. So we have to pray, people, that God in this year, 2023, and also mentioned Jezebel 23 times in the Bible, that God will deal with Jezebel this year. There will be a lot of backlash um, to the royal palace for Norway. Uh, there will be a lot of backlashes to the royal palace for Norway, Switzerland, and England. Norway, Switzerland, and England. Pray for Prince and Princess of Sussex because their lives are in danger. 2023 is a significant year in the dispensation. The enemy already know that many of the secular entertainment, entertainers are about to hear some truth that will make them want to fight or be released from his, his, the enemy gap or grip. He has a plan to attack many of them with major health issues, significant losses, serious family issues, double lives. Many of them will be called into accountability and some level of exposure of hidden evil deeds will be brought to light. The Lord is purging the entertainment industry. I say it again. The Lord will be purging the entertainment industry in 2023. The Lord is purging the stretching floor of the church also, the body of Christ, because he's exposing more of the hireling and he will make an example of them 2023. Many first responders worldwide are weary and will leave their profession because some of them have been complaining about their salary because they are not enough to take care of their families. So pray for all first responder people. They are going through a lot and their salary. Um, so there will be a shortage of the first responder. Pray for Kim Kardashian and her siblings as they are in trouble. Pray for them. Pray that their soul will be saved. Pray also for her ex-husband, Kanye West. The Lord said, now is the time for the church to genuinely help, mentor him. Pray that God will use him and that he will save. Uh, amen. Pray for his protection. Amen. Watch North Korea, China, Iraq, Iran, and Russia. Pray for France. Watch North Korea, China, Iraq, Iran, and Russia. Pray also for France. Pray for all airlines. Um, Spain, Trinidad. Uh, there will be a great crisis in England and those these nations that I just called. So there's going to be a lot of crisis. So we pray for all airlines. Pray against the spirit of incest, according to 1 Corinthians 5. As we read Revelation 2, 19 to 25, God will deal with the church of Titeria. The glory of God will pour out within the prophetic and the evangelism. All eyes will be on Jerusalem, Israel. It's time for rebellion. Pray also for the United States of America as there will be great shaking. Amen. Jezebel was recorded 23 times, therefore. For the Lord said 2023, he will deal with Jezebel. He will expose. There will be new decree that will protect God's people. A lot of focus will be on the Middle East, especially Palestine. Pray against the two-state crisis that many will be pushing from the, um, the West. And a false peace and deception. Pray for the 23rd state of the USA, which is Maine. Pray, people, pray. There will be a clinical finding that will be inaccurate, which can cause great damage. So they're going to be... 
a lot of finding that will come out, but the Lord say it will not accurate, and if they implement it, it will cause great damage. Pray for President um, Donald Trump protection. There's a group coming globally that is planning to take over the world. Pray also for the French Prime Minister health and the USA President Biden health also. Pray, people, pray. Serious time ahead. More need to be done for children in orphanage. They need to be with family who genuinely care for them. So the Lord said more need to be done um, with family, um, children, um, especially those in orphanage. Um, more need to be done. And so you need, we need to pray and pray for the resources. That genuine ministry that reach out to them will help you know, a more better help. Amen. The Lord shows that many politicians are handing out briefcases of money to do evil globally, but God has seen them and he will take, he's taking note. A lot of them are handing out to carry out evil, but God said, I've seen and I'm taking note. A major shaking will take place among the monks globally. Pray people. God will show many political leader great sign in 2023. Many, he will show great sign. There will be a shaking over the entire world. And only those who are saved will be protected. Many will be shaking and hiding, seeking hiding place. There will be one, no one to help each other in some areas and some country. Many will be looking for refuge, even animals will be shaking and shivering. They will be weeping and wailing, says the Lord. Only true believer will escape the wrath of God. No scientist will be able to define such terrible visitation coming on the earth. No government will be able to control it. Many will want to seek help from the Lord, but it will be too late. The reason for this is that they have despised and turned their back on the Lord and refused to repent. All believers will know it is a divine visitation and many will believe it's, it's the rapture, but a great fall away is coming. Pray people, pray. A great fall is coming also for Russia. War and civil war will break out internally in Russia. Pray also for Russia. Pray for sport personality Damian Lillard. The Spirit of the Lord say it's time for him to be saved and to fulfill his mandate. He's called to be a pastor and a teacher of the youth and to help the family that are suffering by building homes for them. And as he obeyed the Lord, he will use him mightily, especially in sports. Pray also for Shaq O'Neal, Kevin Duran, Charles Bartley and the entire NBA unit because there will be a shaking ahead. Pray people, pray. A wave of anointing is coming on the Pentecostal church for power, for service. God said that the prophetic word of God will be so important in the end times. And those who obey will be blessed. But there are many who will regret and weep because they refuse to listen. But the Lord said, my word will come to pass. Many live sinful lives and refuse to repent. But 5783, 2023 will be the year of the just. Pray against church breaking and robbery. So we pray against all attacks on churches that the enemy planned in 2023. Watch France, France, French Prime Minister, watch France. The French Prime Minister will be making a speech to the nation. That will not go over well with the people. So pray for the, 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 the French president um, in terms of a statement that he will make. 
may that will not go well with the people. There also, the Lord said, pray for the White House. Uh, there is a huge Leviathan over the White House. Pray, people, pray against the spirit of Leviathan. I power weapon have been distributed to civilian, mainly among the KKK. Pray, people, pray. Um, re the gun control distribution uh, from prominent agency. The, they are weapon, uh, high weapon, amen? Military use, so we need to pray, amen? Against death and destruction, civil war. It is the season of the eighth, new beginning. You have heard there is nothing new under the sun, but there are some new development that will be coming, which let man ears will tingle, and person will become very afraid, yet others will become more depraved, says the Lord. What you have experienced before is only labor pain. <laughs> Men are planning a spiritual babel, babel, and I am ready to deal with them. Therefore, do not be surprised when you heard of an increase in death, sicknesses, and new cases of war. Some countries will experience great civil wars. There will be strange occurrences of sacrifices. This is being played out as it is written in the last days, says the Lord. Many of my children are still in the whole season, believing that not much will change. They are saying, this is just a part of my life. I am going to take off their blinders, <laughs> says the Lord. I have spoken plans of action to my servants. However, many of you have ignored them. It is as in the day of Noah, my servant, you will go about and you will warn and many will ignore. It is not the will for soul to die. I need my children to understand the season and move in and minister to the lost as time is drawing. Um, quickly says the Lord. So the Lord said, do not be afraid, true prophet. Um, when you warn you will be ridiculed and you will be persecuted. But speak my word, says the Lord. Some of my people who have called my own are asking me to come because of the suffering in this world. My time is not your time. Have you ever thought that instead of focusing on the suffering, you should be focused on what you need to do in this end time, says the Lord. The Lord said there are going to be great famine ahead as the seven seal, true famine, is coming to the land, the sea. Knowing this, scientists have been developing alternative food, but even this food, these food are tampered with. The Lord said that great famine is coming, people, and we need to pray even um, the plans that they put in place, um, it not, will not work. Stardust, a sign from heaven, will appear. The stars and your solar system will be greatly affected. It is started, it has started, but it being held in secret. And some of you will not believe in it until it is too late, says the Lord. I will take over many great men and women, yes, People will die, but you all will witness my calling on many who are the cornerstone within the kingdom and the earth. It is time for the Joshua to come forward and take authority and command. So, some of the happening will seem rapid. They are manipulating earth and the process of life and death. So I shall come upon them in the midst, in their midst, and I will cause confusion and disagreement, says the Lord. Many private plane will crash globally. This is a result of sabotage. Pray for all entertainer, 
reality shows, including RF, KK, BKC, Initial. Hallelujah. Yes, the Lord asks us to pray. It's going to be the year. If we don't pray, we might have a lot of um, crashes. Yeah. And we need to pray um, even for the railway, the airplane, all private plane. And even pray also for some of the pilots that us take the vaccine, as many of them will be suffering um, from health issues. And we need to pray for them. God is calling the worshiper in repentance. And the Christian entertainment, pray for Christian media that God will protect and give resources to read soul. Pray for more true Christian media to arise. Pray for new Christian tech and social media companies. Um, so we need to pray, um, continue to pray for all the Christian media um, because God is going to pour out, and uh, most of them are coming under attack. The enemy want to close a lot of them, so we have to pray. Amen. The spirit of death and the Antichrist spirit is now in operation in Canada, and the church must pray for God to bring a change and a revival in Canada. Pray for Canada, people. Pray for Canada. Also pray against the abortion that will rise like never before. Pray against abortion. Amen. The spirit of depression has been released like never before, and many will want to commit suicide. Pray against depression and oppression. Um, uh, many trying to find ways to combat it without God, but only Christ can fill that void. There is a great need for the church to set up counseling and deliverance center to deal with the crisis that's about to unfold. So pray people, a lot of, um, um, you know, a lot of people when they go through famine, financial recession, um, depression, sickness, so we're gonna see a uh, high, high, um, volume of depression. You know, many are going to under it and want to commit suicide. So the church has to react as never before. God is calling Senator Ted Cruz to go deeper in his relationship with Christ. God wants to use him to do great things, things behind his imagination. But he must forsake tradition of men. Amen? So God calling, um, Senator Ted Cruz to rise and go deep, that God can use him as a voice in the end time. God is calling for the churches in Georgia to wake up because they have complacent, become complacent. They are in trouble with the Lord and great danger lies ahead for Georgia, but they don't know it. Furthermore, the spirit of apostasy has been taken over Many leaders have compromised. Repent and turn, Georgia. Pray for a revival. We must pray for the hearts of the people of America to turn back to God as there are great danger and confusion ahead. God is calling the church to shift away from this motivational speaking and mixing up New Age principle with His Word. He's calling the church back to his word and his principle. He wants his people to walk away from the ancient demonic tradition. He said, come out from among them, my people. Come out from among them, says the Lord. Many Christian school leaders are giving up because of the pressure the devil wants to corrupt and to shut down these schools. But don't give up, says the Lord. I will send help. Fast and pray. Come before me for solution, says the Lord. Youth will rise throughout Africa, a host of worshippers and ministers who have been tainted. Yes, Lord. The youth will rise up throughout Africa, a host of worshippers. 
And the Lord says that he is about to purge the hireling out of that region. They will rise and begin to spread God's word and be a bond of true worship. Even some of the false prophets will be turning when the manifestation of the book of Acts shall take place in Africa, a fire. Rabba and his glory, another crop of young worship and minister of the gospel is about to rise out of Philippines and Thailand. Revival people, revival, revival. There is a shift to the east and greater interest will be sparked for the soul of the Asian nation. Stronghold over that region are about to weaken and come down. The Lord is opening the door to the Asian nation, but God is going to remove his people strategically. So it is imperative that his people follow his instruction in this season and listen for his voice. Amen. Pray against civil war throughout America, England. Canada, more diseases will break out. We thank you, Lord, for life, for strength. We thank you, Lord, for your word that it will edify your people. We thank you, Lord, for this global prophecy that soul will be saved and the fire of the Holy Ghost, fire will be upon your people. Kula ba 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 shandai. Ra ba 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 shata. We thank you. Lord, you are listening to Romy Radio. Positively Popak. And you are listening globally. We thank the Lord for you. For life, for strength. And we thank you for his good word. God bless you all. Amen.